no one is is immune from difficulties. No one is immune from having challenges that they face, adversity. It's how you handle the adversity. It's how you handle those challenges when they present themselves that says a lot about who you are, but it also molds you for the future, for other challenges. It gives you that warrior's mindset, that resilient mindset that's so important. And over the last 12 months, I've seen my son go from a situation where we have had him, uh, he has broken his wrist, he has splintered his elbow. He has dealt with the pandemic, which a lot of kids obviously have had that as well. He's also had a chance to uh, compete uh, in one of his favorite uh, uh, sports, uh, Ninja Nation. And we're going to talk about that a little bit too. But he's also been home because of the pandemic. And yet here we are 12 months later, after 12 months of adversity, he's not only an honor roll student in school, he's also uh, made the uh, coveted Ninja Nation team in Frisco, which is a American Ninja uh, training facility. And he's excited about that, but the last 12 months have been very, very difficult. So we wanna hear from him because I believe his story will inspire anyone, especially those young folks out there that are coming through a very difficult time. So Caleb, welcome to the show, brother. Thanks for having me show, Dad. So Caleb, I wanna ask you, the last 12 months have been pretty difficult. Yes, right. What would you say over the last 12 months were the most challenging times for you compared, uh, based on the fact that you've had broken wrist, fractured elbow, at home from the pandemic, you had uh, not uh, the ability to practice and, and, and with Ninja Nation. What would you say has been the toughest part of the last 12 months for you? I would say, you know, the broken wrist because I feel like that affected me everywhere. Mm -hmm. And... It just, it mentally messed me up. So that just, it messed me up. So when you say that it messed you up, what was going through your mind when you were home realizing, hey, I've got a broken wrist, I'm home, I can't go to school, I can't practice. That might have, that must have been very discouraging, I would imagine, right? Very discouraging. It messed me up because I knew that other kids were having fun outside of the kids were having fun in Ninja Nation, but me, I was stuck home with a broken wrist. And for me, I like being active outdoors, but I had to find stuff to do indoors that weren't as fun. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I couldn't even work out as much. So that also brought me down. What did you say to yourself during those times that you were discouraged? I said, I looked at all the positive stuff that was happening in that moment, mm -hmm. I looked at how the good possibilities that could happen after I'm done with my wrist, where what was the first thing I was going to do when I'm out of that cast? Mm. What's the first thing I'm, the first obstacle I'm going to do when I get back at Ninja Nation? And that just kept my head up, that kept me motivated to, you know, that kept me motivated to keep going and don't think about all the negative, think about all the positive. What advice would you give uh, anybody really who is going through challenges? Uh, maybe they're going through down challenges now or they will in the future. Uh, what advice would you give to them based on what you've learned? Even when things are tough, always get back up. No matter the circumstances, you always have to stay positive and just don't quit. Don't quit. You, you know you have the strength to get through this. Mm -hmm. So even when things are tough, keep your head up and don't quit. That's great words of wisdom to be applied to anybody, really. Now, here we are 12 months after the fact that you uh, went through the, the fractures, the broken wrists, not being able to practice. We had a move, right, you and I? Yes. We, our family moved from one place to another. You're starting a brand new school, making all new friends, worrying about making friends, and all sorts of things that happens, and you go through thinking when you're a little guy, um, making transitions like that. But here you are 12 months later. You incredibly went on honor roll. Yes. You made the Ninja Nation team. Mm -hmm. You competed in your first major competition. Yes. And recently in a local competition, you placed first. Mm -hmm. It's amazing considering what was happening 12 months ago. So knowing that 12 months have come and gone, what have you learned about yourself now that's going to help you face future challenges? I'm a go-getter. Mm. I'm a go-getter. I'm determined. And I don't quit easily. So you would say that you've developed a warrior's mindset early on? Mm-hmm. All right. That's what energy does. Excellent. 